don't be afraid to just share your story and struggles with other people because I'm sure other people are dealing with it themselves. <laughs>
it was more of vlogging is kind of like you fall in love with the personality, the person behind the camera. Um, so I started making around that. Um, but then I fell in love with like filming and editing videos. So after I graduated college, um, the opportunity with Gary happened. Yeah. So Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, what had happened was I was actually watching a lot of videos about Gary, um, just his business stuff because I'm mm -hmm. super like business minded too. Um, and then one day he put out a video that was just like, yo, I'm looking for people, video, yeah, video people, I remember videographers. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so I emailed them, but I was like, yo, so many people are going to hit Gary up around this position. That's, they're just going to filter through it. So I decided to make a 60 second video and tweet it at him. Smart. Yes. So, Very smart. So, um, it's like providing value, right? Like yes. doing a free video, essentially that's what DRock did for him yep. too. Um, so I was like, yo, I shipped up a ton of footage online on YouTube um, that Gary had already had. Um, and I edited it into a really nicely tied video. I can send it to you guys if you guys want to put it. Uh, on yeah, so for sure, we should <laughs> totally link that up. That'd be okay, fun. yeah, um, but it was just like, I tweeted to him, no one responded until a few days later, Saturday morning, I woke up with a bunch of tweets from Gary's fans and also from uh, Gary himself of like, I love this, can you email it to me? Um, and I got in contact with DRock. And so it's crazy because the next, the next uh, week I was already planning to go to New York. Um, I'm from California, so it was crazy. We just met up and then it went really well. So then three weeks later, I moved to New York City, started working for Gary as a video resident um, and then became his videographer. And so did that for under two years as Gary's videographer. And then uh, just a few months ago, six months ago, I left and now I'm using my knowledge that I learned from Gary to help other people, other entrepreneurs um, grow their personal brand online. And so that is why I have you here. I love it. I mean, that was that. <laughs> first you. of all, thank you. And, yeah, you know, of course. Um, I've known Gary since I want to say 2009. Amazing. And, and I remember when he finally got D Rock, mm -hmm. and then when you and I met, yes, Agent 2021 yeah, uh -huh. at my buddy's restaurant in uh, in yeah, South Beach, yeah, Miami. Uh -huh. Right, we took over the of whole course, restaurant yes. for a bunch of our clients, and and that you were behind. Yeah, you were behind the camera mm -hmm. the whole time, and I'm like. All right, no more D Rock. Okay, we got <laughs> Iris now. This is cool, but you know, like I'm, I'm blessed. I've got three different videographers. Yeah. Yeah. I tell people all the time, like, look, you have to, uh, like, you know, we're looking at the ocean here, yeah. right? So, so if you're, if you just took a monster wave and you just had the ride of your life, well, there's a whole bunch of other monster waves you now need to paddle yeah. through yeah. to get back out exactly. to take that next set. And it feels like right now, at least on YouTube. That it's a lot like, of us it's are, like a long term versus short term. Yeah, yeah. Like you can get the short term gains, but then long term, like it's not really going to work out. Um, yeah. But stick to your truth because that's always going to make you feel the best and keep you like sane, basically, is what I'll say. Young people, how do you help them find their purpose? Mm. Like you keep saying, speak your truth. Yeah. I think how it's do you help people find that? I think it's based on experiences. Um, like my truth is what I've been through. So the reason why I want to put out content and help inspire people is because I was, I used to struggle a lot with finding my purpose. And now that I'm in a place where I've experienced more and dealt with a lot of challenges, I feel like I'm at a place now where I know what I want and I know who I am. And I want to help other people who were me go like, like I want to give advice and share my message to the people to who I was back when I was younger. Yeah. And I think actually a lot of people who are doing things right now are because they want to help what they struggled with. For yeah. example, with Jim, he was, he had a broken brain. So he became the guy who was teaching people how to learn now because he wanted to teach himself yeah. that, right? Um, so I think it just goes through experiences. And if you haven't found it yet, like I wouldn't put pressure on it. Like I would mm -hmm. literally just go through your life and what the things that you'd like to do, what you're attracted to do and not feel stressed or like not feel too serious about it. Um, because it's literally like, don't take life too seriously also, but also understand if you want to help people like that will come through experience and time. Yeah. yeah. My, uh, my mentor, a guy named Mike Vance, who passed away mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, was mm -hmm. Walt Disney's right-hand man. Really? And then he was, uh, you know, worked with Steve Jobs for a year, like wow. from the time when Steve was like 19 to the time wow, he passed away. 
and and he you know he would quote Buddha or where you know like mm-hmm. the journey is about discovering who you are mm-hmm. right your purpose mm-hmm. and he's like the the thing that people miss is you have to have experiences and experiences yeah. aren't usually positive mm-hmm. it's where you lost it's, it's where you learned and the the hard parts that yes. you learned the most um, yeah yeah um I will say um like last like throughout this entire journey mm-hmm. um my mom was dealing with cancer um and it was last june um that she passed away when i also like left the team and because i wanted to be back with her yeah um, during that time so in that process i learned so much and it like strengthened me a lot and challenged me to become who i am today but it was through her strength and that experience that makes me the like the have the strength that i have today yeah um so it's like you can't find your purpose right now. Don't stress about it. Um, but through your experience of life, it'll come to you. That's what I'll say. Yeah. yeah. Um, thanks for sharing that of too. Of course. That's, yeah. That's I. I saw some posts on your mm-hmm. Instagram page, and I. I wanted to ask you off camera, but, but <laughs> yeah. instead you gave it to me on camera, mm-hmm. which is heavy. Yeah. Um, closing thoughts. You're talking to a whole bunch of people that you know want to build their brand, want to change their life, want to speak their truth. Um, just. Just closing thoughts. What would you want to say to to these people? If you can never speak to the industry again, you know, real estate and insurance and mortgage and salespeople and entrepreneurs, like what would you say to them? Mm. That's a, that's a pretty big question. I know we went very general here and I know a lot of your audience is uh, real estate people. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say sharing your truth, like online, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Um, now I know, like, I want to, I'm trying to like hear this conversation in terms of helping real estate agents and also just the fact that they're also people um in terms of the fact that everyone is human Mm -hmm. um don't be afraid to just share your story and struggles with other people because i'm sure other people are dealing with it themselves and you'll know you'll find your tribe and your your energy will be attracted to those people who you know are attracted to your truth um in terms of the real estate part in terms of sharing who you are, your personality, and standing out in the market, you're, anyone can be a real estate agent, but not everyone can be you. So I would say by sharing your truth, who you are, your personality, what you're eating every day, like you going on a run, and you know, people who you're selling to because you like you know, CrossFit, for example, they'll be more attracted to work with you and want you to be their real estate agent because you do CrossFit. It's just like, it's just human nature. Too. Like attracts like. Yeah, exactly. Like so attracts like. Putting yourself out there, like, and sharing that part of it is gonna attract, you know, who who you 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 are similar to, and I think that that your uniqueness is is your brand, and that's the only way to stand out in the market as technology comes and things just take over. Like your personal brand is your reputation, your life, um, and you gotta grow that. Love it. Love it. Iris, thank you so much. Of course. I really appreciate you being here. <laughs> so, uh, so guys, as we wrap it up, um, absolutely follow her on Instagram, right? Yes. What's your at, Instagram handle? Yes, it is at Iris Y Chen. Okay. And then the new company is it's Iris, Iris Rose and co. And what we do is we help entrepreneurs, uh, build their brand online. And so, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a fun journey yeah. so far, just starting, but, uh, a long way ahead. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, much. guys, we're out. Awesome. Sweet. Amazing. Woo-hoo. That was a great episode. I'm Sean Parman. Thanks again for watching. Now, you're going to want to watch or listen to the rest of this episode, though. So click the link or go to tomfair.com slash podcast to get more. Thanks again.